Glenn, we're going to continue our coverage. Larry Langford, a spokesman with the fire department, is on the phone joining us now. Larry? I'm here. Okay. Uh, we just heard from Glenn by way of a person on the ground that there is one person, at least one person, still in that building. Is that person trapped or are they being advised to stay inside? We are telling some people in certain portions of the building to remain to shelter in place. The uh, fire will not go laterally. It is going vertically. Uh, last I checked, we have nine floors involved, but it is vertical in one area. Uh, the fire is not going laterally at all, so people that are on the upper floors to the east are in good shape to shelter in place. Those uh, We have brought some people down, about two dozen down, to a second floor area, and they're not complaining. They're doing well. We transported about six people so far. One is considered serious. The others uh, are in good condition, what we call yellow. Uh, is the code. The problem we're having here is the fire is lapping from floor to floor and uh, getting water to the outer edge before it laps up, breaks windows and goes to the next floor is, uh, is a challenge. Uh, there are two more floors before it gets to the roof. As I said, I think we have nine floors involved now, but the building is not compromised. It's a high rise. It's built uh, in a compartment method. The building is not going to collapse, nothing like that. If we're gonna, the fire is going to continue until we can check it. But uh, we've got everybody out or into a safe location. So we're not, uh, we're not worried about that right now. It's just a matter of manpower, water, and tactics to get the fire to stop spreading. Larry, let's talk a little bit more about those tactics because clearly very challenging. The ladders can't reach that high. How are firefighters trying to get water on these flames? The building has stand pipes in it. We go above and below the fire uh, with the hookups of the standpipes. The challenge now is trying to get hoses to all the standpipes in the upper floors in order to try to get the apartments uh, soaked so they uh, at least stop the fire from going up. But it's a little windy out here, as you can see, and the problem is when the fire is out the window, uh, the flames go to the next window above, the glass breaks, the curtains catch fire, the furniture right by the window goes, and we have another floor involved. Uh, so they're coming in through the hallways with their uh, large lines and trying to fight the fire that way before it continues to lap up. It is a challenge, but uh, they're trained for it. We've got plenty of personnel on the scene and, uh, and they're making progress. Larry, obviously dangerous in so many ways. How, how often are you rotating your, uh, your men and women who are addressing that fire on the, on the front lines? Uh, the lobby control is, is, is monitoring that and we're bringing them out every 15 or 20. They're gonna, they're gonna do some changes. That's why he's got a 311 on this now to make sure he's got plenty of manpower uh, so that we can uh, cycle people in and out so no one's exposed too long to the conditions up there. Larry, at this point, I know Glenn mentioned it started possibly in a condo on floor 15. Did that resident get out? And I know it's super early, but any indication of how it might have started? The indications I have right now Everyone involved in the fire department got out. That's what we're told. The original searches appear to be clear. And uh, as the fire was going up, evacuations were taking place. So I, I don't have a, an absolute all clear on all the floors where the fire is, but I've heard no radio traffic indicating that uh, anyone is unaccounted for. But of course, searches are in progress as the fire goes from floor to floor. Hey, Larry, uh, are there sprinklers in that building? That I do not know. I have, I'm, I'm outside. I haven't checked no. that uh, detail yet. Okay. And at this point, three alarm or four alarm fire, we're hearing some conflicting information. It was a 311 when I started getting on the telephone here, but I've got the radio turned down. It could easily go to a, go to a four on this. I would not be surprised. I don't know for sure.